Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will have a look on how to convert decimals into fractions. So let's get started. There are two ways to convert decimals into fractions. Let us see the method one. Here we have the decimal number 4.3. Okay, first what we have to do is write the number without any decimals. See, I am writing 43 here. And observe how many digits are there after decimal point. Here in this example, we have only one digit, right? So, we have to write 10 in the denominator. For example, if there are two digits after decimal point, we have to write 100 in the denominator. Or else, if there are 3 digits after decimal point, we have to write 1000 in the denominator. Like that. Okay. Now, we have the fraction 43 by 10. Let us convert this fraction into mixed. So, divide 43 with 10. Okay. 10 fours are 40. Okay. The remainder is 3. Now, write the mixed fraction. 4. Remainder 3 by 10. So, 4, 3 by 10. Now, let us see method 2. Here also we are taking the same example 4.3. We can write 4.3 as 4 plus 0.3. Okay. Write 4 as it is plus. Let us observe how many digits are there after decimal point. Only one digit is there, right? So, first write the number without any decimal point. See 3 by how many digits are there after decimal point? Only one digit. So, we have to write 10 in the denominator. Now, we have 4 plus 3 by 10. So, write the mixed fraction 4, 3 by 10. Okay. In this way, we can convert the decimals into fractions. Okay. Now, let us do a small exercise by using method 1. Here, we have the first decimal number 2.007. So, first what we have to do? Write the number without any decimals. 2007 by, let us count how many digits are there after decimal point. Here we have 1, 2, 3, right? So, in the denominator we need to write 1000. Now, convert this fraction into mixed. So, 2, 7 by 1000. Okay. Now, let us go to another decimal number. Here we have 5.19. Okay, write the number without decimals. 519 by, let us see how many digits are there after decimal point. Here we have 1, 2. So, we have to write 100 in the denominator. So, we have the fraction 519 by 100. Okay, now convert this into mixed fraction. 5, 19 by 100. Okay. Now, let us do the exercise by using method 2. Here we have the first decimal number 4.169. Okay, how we can write 4.169? 4 plus 0.169. Okay, write the 4 as it is and write the number without decimals. 169. See here we, uh, we need not to write 0. And count how many digits are there after decimal point? 1, 2, 3, right? So, in the denominator, we have to write 1000. Now, we have 4 plus 169 by 1000. Now, the mixer fraction is 4, 169 by 1000. Okay, let us go to another decimal, 5.293. We can write 5.293 as 5 plus 0.293. Okay, write the 5 as it is and write this number without any decimals. 293 by, let us count how many digits are there after decimal point. Here, 1, 2, 3. 3 digits are there. So, we need to write 1000 in the denominator. Now, the mixed fraction is 5, 293 by 1000. Okay, in this way we can convert the decimals into fractions. I hope this video is very helpful to you. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.